So we decided to switch it up a little bit today. As we've been exploring the area, we've been finding these beautiful little trout creeks. We decided, let's get out of the sun today. Let's get in our waders and let's look for some brookies and some rainbows and explore this gorgeous area. If you look around, we're the only people up here. We have the whole river to ourselves, and you can explore for as long as you want up here. It's absolutely beautiful. So what we're doing now is we're just gonna pick apart this little creek, foot by foot, finding the seams and we're running nymphs through there. And the way to fish these little creeks is to stick and move. We want to fish it, go through a run thoroughly. If you feel satisfied, you've worked it hard, move on down the river and continue your day. We all know that one of the first things that you do when you come to a stream fishing for trout, whether they be brown trout or brook trout, is to check and see what's living under the rocks, see what bugs might be here. I'm concerned about this river because it's super, super, super clear. There's no algae, there's very little grass, and when you flip over rocks, you get the odd caddis casing and that's it. So that tells me right away that they're gonna be eating protein. So I've tied on a bead head leech pattern um, and we're gonna swing through these little runs. This little creek is fantastic and we know from the locals that there are brook trout in here. All it is is a matter of finding out what piece of the puzzle fits exactly where. Beautiful fish. Nice job, buddy. So we've been hiking and hiking and hiking. We finally found this beautiful pool here. First cast, we had one come out, took a dart at it, and missed it. So we went to the back, and we found these beautiful brook trout. They're absolutely gorgeous fish. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.